Hello, I'm Mrs. Stevenson. Energy of the hydrogen atom. In order to determine the energy of a hydrogen atom, Bohr first started with Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Because we're talking about atoms, the force, which came from Coulomb's law, is given by force is equal to negative k q squared divided by the radius. So we can substitute this force expression into the force of Newton's second law, where k represents Coulomb's constant and q is the charge. Because the electron is moving in a circular orbit, its acceleration can be represented by a negative v squared divided by r, v being the velocity and r again being the radius. So we can plug our force expression in for force, our acceleration expression in for acceleration, and we end up with a new expression of k q squared over r squared equals m v squared divided by r. Bohr also considered the angular momentum of the electron and stated that he thought that it was also quantized because of the different energy levels. And he believed that this was all based on units of Planck's constant, or h, over 2 pi. This was, this was how he quantized it. And so he took the angular momentum, which can be represented by mvr, and set that equal to n, which represents the energy level it's on, times h over 2 pi. Rearranging this expression for v, he found that v, or velocity, can be represented by n h divided by 2 pi m r, m being mass. Plugging this velocity back into our new form of Newton's second law, we get k q squared over r squared is equal to m n squared h squared 4 pi squared m squared r squared. And this still has to be multiplied by r, so instead of our r being squared, we are going to end up with an r cubed. Rearranging this expression so that r is by itself, we find that r is equal to h squared n squared over 4 pi squared k m q squared. The energy of the hydrogen atom includes both the kinetic and the potential energy. And the expression for this energy is represented by a negative k q squared over 2r. By substituting this r in for our energy expression, you find which equaled energy we find that we can get an energy expression represented by a negative 2 pi squared k squared m q to the fourth divided by h squared all times 1 over n squared. In our energy expression, Everything in this fraction is actually a numerical constant, so we can simplify all of this and either represent it in terms of joules or electron volts. If it's represented in joules, you get the expression negative 2.17 times 10 to the minus 18 joules times 1 over n squared. Or, if we represent it in terms of electron volts, you get a negative 13.6 electron volts times 1 over n squared. 
And so this shows you that the energy of the at hydrogen atom really is just determined by the energy level, or N.